Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I am going to show you how to easily upload uh, pictures from your iPhone to your PC. So we are uploading today with my wife's phone, iPhone 11. And if you've tried that before, you may have encountered when you try to do the standard import on the Photos app for Windows. Let me show you what you might be getting. You go to this screen and it looks for items. And it thinks and thinks and thinks and thinks. And it never finds anything. Or a variation of this is you will get a error message that says uh, there's no device found. So not sure why this is. Um, seems that um, just the iPhone and the uh, and the PC are not communicating well. Uh, the phone is hooked up with a uh, lightning USB cable. So, but as you can see, it doesn't work. So we're going to cancel that. And what I'm going to show you here is how to do this uh, quickly and easily. So you want to locate got iTunes up as well. Locate the file folder. And what you're going to locate is the Apple iPhone folder and an internal storage. Under internal storage, you're going to locate the DCIM. And then you're going to see all of these different categories of files uh, within those. They have just under a thousand files on each one. So I'm working with the uh, file 113 Apple. I've already uploaded all the uh, photos of this file. Now what you'll notice you have, you have JPEG files, JPG files, and then you have these, uh, if you go down, you have these MOV files. Now if you use the live photo functionality on your uh, iPhone, that's what, where you're getting these separate uh, MOV files uh, that have that short video clip from the live. So for the purposes of today's video, um, I'm just gonna use the standard JPEG files. You'll also have these uh, AAE files. Uh, these are iPhone specific files, uh, very small data files that you will not be able to upload uh, to your computer. So just ignore the AAE files. So we're gonna start here with the JPG files and also known as JPEG. And I like to down, upload these all by date to keep it very nice and organized and clean. Um, so first up, so we are working on August uh, 2020 photos. I've already made a folder over here in the format that I like, 2020-08. So very simple here on uh, easy way to select these. Oh, also very important too. So you have different options here as far as how you can view the files. You can view, you know, tiles, small icon, extra large icons, large icons, and details. I like details best because it tells me the date the photo was taken. Uh, and also you, um, to get the files grouped in the different formats, you can do group by, and you group by type. And that way it separates out the AAE files from the JPEGs and the, uh, the MOV files. So we're starting with the JPEGs. So a quick tip here, we're gonna click right here. And then, so you can quickly select a bunch of files and not have to click on every single little picture. We scroll down, I'm, I'm doing just August right now. I'm gonna go down to August the 31st. Right. Looks like the last photo was the 29th. And on the keyboard, we're gonna hit the Shift key. Shift, and we're gonna go right there. It's gonna select every one of those. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, beautiful. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cl uh, left click on our mouse and we're gonna drag this over to the photo or the file I should say that we want to copy that into. So we're doing the August 2020. It's got 296 photos. We're gonna drop it. It's gonna pop up here that's copying those over and it'll take a couple of, uh, you know, a few minutes just to move those over. Um, but this is the easy workaround. 
uh, when your Photos app is not working on your uh, PC. Hope, uh, hope you all find this video to be helpful. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.